At the start of the EVA, EV1, Thomas Pesquet, comes out first, followed by EV2, Shane Kimbrough. Thomas translates up to the front face of the truss and translates outboard. Thomas is setting up what we refer to as safety tether anchors. At this point, he'll drop the anchor point for both he and Shane. Shane will be retrieving an articulating portable foot restraint and putting his stowage bag onto it for translation outboard. Tomah makes his way out to the carrier that has the solar rays stowed on it. Shane follows along the truss and meets Tomah at the carrier. The crew drops off pistol grip tools and bags in preparation for releasing Irosa from the carrier. Shane makes his way outboard onto the P6 truss element and stows the articulating portable foot restraint that he'll be using later on in the EVA. Continues translating outboard to the very end of the truss and stows his stowage bag. Tama prepares the IROSA by releasing the first hinge bolt and stowing his pistol grip tool. Tama makes his way outboard and releases an anti-rotation device which keeps the primary bolt locked in place during launch loads. Tama retrieves a handling aid for IROSA. We refer to this as a scoop. Meanwhile, Shane retrieves a crew lock bag and installs it on the lower support truss of the mod kit. He retrieves another scoop, another handling aid, and installs it on the mounting bracket of the mod kit. Shane retrieves one of the two sets of cables and pre-positions them for future installation. Shane retrieves his pistol grip tool and makes his way back inboard to join Toma. Toma prepares the release bolts down to the last few turns. Tama installs one of the handling aids and makes his way back around Irosa. He changes out his pistol grip tool and makes his way down to the crew and equipment translation aid or CETA cart and retrieves the foot restraint that he'll use on the end of the arm for his work with Irosa. He installs the foot restraint at the end of the arm, puts it in the right position, and ingresses the arm. The arm then flies him into position to drive two bolts that are on the boom deployment system. Once these bolts have been released, the booms can be moved outboard, and this will help with the release of the solar ray when it's eventually deployed. Tama drives two of the outboard launch restraint bolts that hold the tube in place, and the arm maneuvers him for a release of Irosa from the carrier. Meanwhile, Shane makes his way over to the carrier and gets into position for release. Shane drives the last few turns on the release bolts, and now the IROSA solar array has been released from the flight support equipment. He installs a handling aid, and Toma is able to slide IROSA off of the carrier and remove it. Meanwhile, Shane is keeping an eye on the whole system to make sure that IROSA does not come into contact with the RMS grapple fixture, and away Toma goes with IROSA. Meanwhile, Shane gets off of the carrier and translates outboard, He'll stow Tomas' safety tether hook in preparation for when Tomas comes off of the arm, and he'll continue his path outboard. He stows his pistol grip tool, makes his way to his foot restraint, and ingresses. While he's getting into his foot restraint, Tomas is continuing his path, holding on to Irosa while the arm flies him as far outboard as it can reach. He hands off the Irosa to Shane. They swap tethers. Shane has control of Irosa and is left holding it. While Toma goes back to his egress position, he gets out of the arm, changes his safety tether, and makes his way back to where Shane is holding Irosa. He then rotates Shane into position so that Irosa is handed off to the next point. Toma ingresses his foot restraint and receives Irosa. Shane egresses his foot restraint, moves outboard, and gets into position to help Toma install Irosa onto its final location on the mod kit. One of the two handling aids is removed before installing onto this mounting bracket. The two crew members work together to align it and put it into a soft capture feature. Once it's installed, the other handling aid is removed, the final hinge restraint bolt is loosened, and IROSA is now able to rotate into its fully deployed, fully extended position. The two crew members work together to swing it into the single tube. Once it is in position, Shane stows the two handling aids Toma gets into position to drive the hinge bolts. These two bolts hold the two halves of the IROSA solar ray into a single tube. These bolts are delicate pins, so the final torque to get them into position is done with a hand tool so that we don't over-torque those bolts. 
Once that's in place, there are eight mounting bolts that hold all of the Irosa Solar Ray onto the mounting bracket. Toma will drive the first four, followed by Shane driving the second set of four. Shane and Toma will work together to install the electrical cables that hook up to Irosa. One set goes to the right side and the other set goes to the left side and they are finally hooked up in place on the legacy solar rays. That's done during eclipse. After those cables are installed, the crew gets into position to drive the final two bolts that are holding Irosa in the pre-deployed position. Once these two bolts have been driven, Irosa is free to extend itself into its deployed position. After the crew's verified that the solar ray is in the right position and it's fully deployed, they drive two tensioning bolts. This allows the uh, sail to be tensioned into its uh, final configuration. Once Irosa has been fully deployed, uh, there are some checkout steps that are performed to make sure that everything is hooked up correctly and the crew cleans up the worksite. They retrieve the handling aids and the pistol grip tools and they prepare for the second EVA in the series. To do this, they take their foot restraints and move them to the other side of the P6 truss structure. This will be the work site for the second EVA. Each crew member has their own foot restraint and they'll move them to the other side. The crew repositions the stowage bag that's holding the other set of cables to the other side of the truss, pre-positions it for the next EVA. The crew will do an inventory of all their tools and their hardware, then they'll start their path back to the airlock. On their way back, they'll stop at the carrier, pick up the last crew lock bag and the last pistol grip tool, and make their way inboard. When both crew members are back at the airlock, they'll retrieve a foot restraint that has been causing us problems and bring it inside the airlock to inspect. Shane will enter the airlock, followed by Thomas, and that ends the first DVA.